Welcome to the new Tips TV channel. 8 Unexpected Reasons Why You Can't Sleep at Night A proper night's sleep is crucial to our health. Find out if one of these 8 culprits is to blame for your sleeplessness. You're depressed. Just like with appetite, the physical changes of depression can swing to either extreme. You may suddenly find that you're tired and sleeping all day, or that you can't get a wink's shut eye at all. A particularly common form of sleep deprivation is to find yourself waking up in the middle of the night, night after night. You're doing too much before bed, according to a U.S. National Sleep Foundation poll, during the hour before bed, around 60% of us do household chores, 37% take care of children, 36% do activities with other family members, 36% are on the internet and 21% do work related to their jobs. Working right up until bedtime doesn't give you a chance to wind down and prepare your body for sleep. Take the hour before bed to transition from the person who can do everything into the person who can sleep. Read a book, take a bath, whatever will make you feel most relaxed. Your hormones are out of whack. One explanation could be hormonal changes throughout our reproductive cycles. As women, we are more prone to having poor sleep around menstruation. And that's related to pain and mood changes. Pregnancy is another known time for sleep disturbance. An increase in the hormone progesterone will have you waking up for or endless trips to the washroom in your first trimester and the size of your belly will cause you some discomfort when trying to sleep in your third trimester. Then in perimenopause, the time right before menopause when women cease to menstruate, a drop in progesterone and estrogen hormone levels may cause symptoms such as nighttime hot flashes and insomnia. You're a smoker, there are hundreds of reasons to quit smoking, and sleep trouble is one of them. That nasty nicotine is a stimulant that will keep you awake longer and since you may experience nicotine withdrawal through the night it will affect your sleep. Besides, smoking is no way to start your day. You're napping too late in the day. Be cautious about napping during the day. It can be a great way to recharge or catch up on sleep but if you nap too late in the day you may have trouble sleeping at night. If a nap is necessary, keep it to less than 30 minutes in the early afternoon. If your evening television vigil often ends with you snoring on the sofa, beware. Fight the urge to nod off. If it's near bedtime go to bed. If it's still early get up and do something mildly reviving. You've thrown off your biological clock. Staying up late on Friday and Saturday nights and sleeping in on Saturday and Sunday mornings is frequently the gift we give ourselves on weekends after a hard week at work. Yet that little gift, small as it is, is enough to screw up our biological clocks. Even if you get to bed early on Sunday night, you will not be ready to sleep. And it will make for a tough day at the office on Monday. You're addicted to technology. Sure, every app promises to make our lives easier. But they may actually tie us into too many never-ending work. Being able to keep in touch with the kids is a boon to working parents. Allowing the office to track you down after hours is not. We need to keep the two things separate, save discreet times in the day to receive and answer business emails, and learn to screen the after 6 p.m. cell phone calls. And under no circumstances should you check your email right before bed. You're drinking too much caffeine. Feel like you need four extra large lattes to get you through the day. Your caffeine habit may be keeping you up at night. 
Drinking coffee or tea in the evening is a particularly bad idea. It can interfere with normal REM sleep and leave you feeling even more tired. Stick to decaf beverages after dinner and limit your intake to 3-8 ounces doses of caffeine per day to ensure that your coffee habit won't make it hard to fall asleep.